my weight loss plan for 2023. As a hormone and gut health nutritionist, which by the way, I should kind of come clean here of why this is even happening. I'm going to Greece and I'm really psyched about it. And I want to feel really great in my skin. I want to take photos while I'm there and not hide my body. And yes, I want to wear a swimsuit and feel good. I haven't even decided if I'm actually going to use the scale as a measure or just my clothes. But the point is, I am focused on slow, easy, sustainable, and intentional weight loss, which starts with my body feeling safe enough that it can release weight. How does your body know it's safe? It all has to do with stress and inflammation. First and foremost, I'm prioritizing sleep. Y'all, I went to bed at 8 p.m. last night and woke up at 6 this morning. And my body truly feels best when I get between 8 and 10 hours of sleep. Two, I am not doing intense exercise. Not because I can't. I can and have had periods of being very good at intense exercise. But workouts like Orange Theory and CrossFit and F45 and HIIT training all tell your body that it's dangerous. And I want my middle name to be the opposite of danger. In fact, I kind of want my middle name to be like Tortoise of Tortoise and the Hare. Because when Torti, I'm thinking that's the plural, lose weight in a slow and steady way, they cross the finish line just fine and can keep on cruising. Next, I'm keeping my toxic load low. This means I'm avoiding synthetic chemicals like nonstick sprays, plastics, artificial fragrances, and I'm regularly vacuuming, opening windows, changing my sheets, and I'm also making sure to use my detox pathways most every day. That's pooping, hydrating with filtered water and minerals, sweating, and taking deep breath. Next up, I'm tweaking my meals and snacks. I am placing a lot of emphasis on leaner protein sources like white fish, skinless boneless poultry, lean ground beef, a high quality bone broth protein powder or grass fed beef isolate. And I'm pairing my protein with healthy carbohydrates such as fruit, root veggies, and gluten free carbs. I'm making sure to include nutrient dense, wacky animal parts. This ensures that I have enough of the nutrients that will really help my body to thrive. That's things like gelatin, bone broth, and organ meats. I am not consuming lots of nuts and seeds. I am also not consuming a lot of beans and legumes. And I'm getting fat from healthy sources such as fruit and animal. Let me know if you want a part three.